Good morning and welcome to On the Bench with Big Jim. And uh, what a wonderful weekend. Uh, was it not a wonderful weekend? And there we are. And uh, welcome again to On the Bench with Big Jim. Uh, Mother's Day weekend was just wonderful. We were able to spend with family and uh, with my mother-in-law, uh, one of my daughters-in-law, and um, my kids. It was, it was terrific. I hope everybody else had a wonderful weekend. Good morning, Junior. I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day. And uh, good morning, Ryan. Uh, hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day as well. Um, it's going to be a fun... Good morning to you, Ryan. Thank you very much. Um, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun day. Uh, we, I wanted to talk about, uh, the awesome community that we live in. Um, Moses Lake, Moses Lake came out plenty, uh, on Saturday as the Moses Lake Wrestling Club held a fundraising car wash for um uh six potentially six Moses Lake student athletes who will be competing in some national tournaments uh coming up good morning John uh, good to see you here um anyway these kids are going to be competing at some national tournaments um for recently four young men uh, qualified for the Fargo National Championships. A couple of those have qualified to be on the, the cadet and junior dual teams. And then we have a young lady, Bianca Johnson, has uh, been selected to be on the national team um, for the Washington High School uh, girls dual team. And uh, so we're, we're having... Uh, this fundraiser for her as well. She's going to be a freshman at the high school. We're all excited because she is something special. And then, uh, so it's, uh, good morning, uh, John. Good to see you. Um, it's Hunter White, uh, Maximus Zamora, Cruz Vasquez, and Saul Villa have all qualified. They're all underclassmen, and they're all going to be here uh, uh, the first three are going to be juniors and Saul's going to be a sophomore. And then uh, uh, we're petitioning for another young man, uh, Jonathan Tanguma, to be able to get on the national team and go to Fargo because he was injured and was not able to compete at uh, the state championships to, for him to be able to qualify. And he's, he's a quality kid and um, we've done this in the past. Uh, and had uh, petitioned to get uh, you know kids to be able to go to nationals to represent Washington, but but uh, for whatever reason they weren't able to wrestle at qualifying. But you know, um, I I remember we did it for Brian uh, Chamberlain. And um, anyway, uh, good morning, Mick. Good to see you, Coach. Um, but uh, so. Uh, but we're going to be talking about the the outpouring of um, support that uh, this, the community of Moses Lake and whoever came from out of town uh, to get your car washed and to help support these kids. It was uh, amazing and outstanding. We're going to be talking with Dwayne Zamora about that. But first off, I wanted to talk about Moses Lake baseball. Congratulate to Moses Lake High School Chief baseball team. They won the they won the league, uh, you know, uh, outright, and then they won the the district championship. Uh, beating Wenatchee eleven to one, and they are in the state tournament. They play on Saturday at ten a.m. So we want to wish wish the Chiefs, Coach Lundgren, and the Chiefs uh, the best of luck. Uh, also, congratulations to the 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 girls softball team as they won their championship league championship. They play in the district playoffs. Uh, they'll play Friday against the winner of Sunnyside and Eastmont. So uh, good luck to the Lady Chiefs as they um, try to get through the district championships to be able to get to state. 
uh, we want to congratulate uh, uh, the Chiefs. Um, also, there's some birthdays I wanted to to uh, get out there. First off, uh, our good friend Billy Porter is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Billy. Uh, Austin Allred is also another year older. Happy birthday, Austin. Um, uh, and Melissa Shooty Rocha, who uh, she married Coach Rocha. Um, Melissa Shooty's having a birthday. So happy birthday, uh, Melissa. And Ali Pichardo and uh, Kelsey Cress are having birthdays. And then uh, folks that the most of the like, folks won't know these na- won't, won't know Don's name, but Don Nett is who is a, a big supporter of Idaho State University, um, my uh, where I played college football, um, is having a birthday. And then everybody knows J.J. Uh, Harrison, uh, the rodeo clown, entertainer supreme, and J.J. Uh, uh, Harrison is having a birthday. So happy birthday, J.J. Uh, uh, Hope you have a wonderful day. So um, <clears throat> this uh, this past weekend... Hey, Armani, how you doing? Good to see you. And you too, Ruben. Congratulations on all your success uh, with your kids. Uh, uh, Anyway, um, as I had said or posted that we are... Oh, oh, one more thing. Uh, Like and share the video, please, uh, if you have a chance. And also... We are uploading these videos to YouTube, and uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you could go to the YouTube channel, the, there is a link in <coughs> in the main post. Uh, you can go directly to our uh, YouTube channel and watch any of the past shows. And I'm 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 going to be getting all of those up there. And I'm also going to start uh, once once I finish that, I start, I'll start downloading uh, old matches and uh, old content that uh that i have so um oh wow Dwayne, uh your name hmm why didn't it do that it's not letting me add you Dwayne. i don't know why uh are you watching on a different um uh Are you watching from your phone or a different device? Because it's not letting me add you. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, Moses Lake came out in droves uh, in this last Saturday to help support um, these young student athletes on their quest to... Um, Um, yeah. So, Dwayne, I need you to find a better connection. <laughs> um, we're going to visit with Dwayne Zamora. Hopefully, uh, we he can get into a better connection area. But they started at 8 o'clock. And uh, the, the, the videos and the photos uh, that I saw because I was down in uh, Idaho for my son's graduation. I was not able to attend. But uh, the videos and the photos that I saw, what a outpouring of support for these these youth. And um, these opportunities uh, don't come along to everybody. And when they do, you you have to take advantage of... You have to take advantage of every opportunity that you're given because uh, it's only going to help you. If, if, If you pass these opportunities up, um, your life will continue to go on and everything, but these experiences uh, it, you improve, you learn things, and you grow. And 
uh, we want to be able to m make possible for these youth uh, to be able to go to these championships, to the duels, and to the national tournament in Fargo. And <clears throat> uh, it's been a while since we've had uh, a group. Uh, this year we have four qualified so far, and we're working to, to get another one petitioned in. But um, uh, from our small community, we'd like the, the, to take this opportunity uh, to give these kids this opportunity to do that. And we we want to thank everyone who came out Saturday and had their car washed or just drove by and donated uh, some money to these kids. Every little bit, it adds up. And when you have so many kids... Uh, to to put on a plane and uh, to pay the entry fees and all of that, it takes a bit. And um, uh, okay, okay, I've invited you, Dwayne, and uh, um. It it you know it's um it's gonna change these kids' lives and it will help them grow and uh, become better athletes but also uh, the friends that they uh, they'll make friends uh, new friends and uh, they'll new le they'll learn new things their acumen for uh, the sport their acumen for life and dealing with other people and uh, dealing with adversity. Uh, will all improve and it will be well worth uh, the time and effort that the coaches and uh, parents and everybody that's been involved <clears throat> all of the people that came out to help uh, these these youth um, do the car wash family, friends, uh, brothers and sisters uh, much appreciated to, to support, to show support for these kids. It was a, it was a wonderful thing to see um, I only wish I could have attended but we're not done uh, we have more, we have more, uh, we have more to do. There's still a lot of work to be done. And, uh, we, uh, we want to make sure that these kids have the, ah, there you are. Okay. All right, Dwayne. You can accept the invite. But this, uh. This experience, uh, we're going to talk to Dwayne a little bit about this because he had, when he was a youth, when he was in, uh, he, he, he and a teammate were able to go to Australia. And okay. <laughs> uh, how are you doing today, Dwayne? Uh, I'm doing good. Well, good. We, wanted, we want to welcome Dwayne Zamora, uh, who is not only a parent, um, uh, but he's, a, he's one of the coaches here at the Mose Lake High School, uh, the Mose Lake Freestyle Club. And uh, you're busy at work, I see already. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, first off, Dwayne, tell me, I mean, you guys were there from 8 until past 2.30, but tell me the outpouring. T tell me how you felt about, I mean, I was, it was busy because you had so many cars, but it was awesome. Was, were you able to kind of just reflect a little bit about, how much support you felt right there watching oh, all the people it was, show it up? Oh, it was just incredible, Jimmy. I mean, uh, I, I mean, there was probably one minute where we had one car, <laughs> but the, the rest of the time, I mean, it was just nonstop. And I mean, donations of a hundred dollars, and it was like we'd ring the bell. I'm telling you, it was amazing the support we get for these kids. It's it, it feels so good. That that's an awesome thing. Now. Uh, as I was mentioning when you connected, uh, you had an opportunity to do uh, something similar when you were in high school. You, you and Frankie Morales, an, another teammate of mine, were able to uh, take a, a, an exchange trip to Australia. Tell us, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, we, we, well, you and I, we, you and I have known each other since we were kids, but um, which was a long, long time ago, it seems like, but. Uh, uh, tell us about your experience. Well, you know, I mean, it, it, we were 16 years old. We got to go to Australia, and it was just amazing. I mean, we got treated like celebrities. 
And so, uh, I mean, uh, everywhere, every, every city we went to, uh, we had uh, uh, girls and, and young kids <laughs> wanted to be pen pals and stuff. And it was, I mean, every city we went to, we got greeted by government. I mean, the city council. I mean, so we stayed in phenomenal places and, and, and the, the dinners. Uh, and then, of course, the wrestling was so fun, you know. I mean, they're not the greatest wrestlers, but they're, uh, I mean, we had a lot to show them. But we, uh, some of their elite wrestlers were awesome. And, and so we got to uh, experience a, a beautiful thing there. How long of a trip was it? How long of a trip was it? It was a month in, Australia, in Sydney. Uh, oh, my heavens. And, yeah. It, it, it was, uh, I think, 28 days. But That's crazy. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Lot now, of fun. now uh, after, after that, when you came home, uh, all of the wrestling that you did and the experience of having the trip uh, – what kind of change did – were you able to see a change in you and in, in how you approached things? And uh... Oh, it was just uh, – I mean, culturally, you, you just uh, – I mean, I also went to Japan. And so, uh, I mean, the people treated you so good over there. And so every time, you know, we don't I, – I never know when we have Australians over here. But when I see J Japanese uh, culture over here, you just want to pay back the way they treated you over there and it's uh -huh. like, uh you always want to do that payback uh, uh somehow but uh that's one way you look at things different you know and and uh your your son uh who maximus who's actually congratulations he was a state champion this year at in freestyle uh yeah that was awesome for, for, for cadets and yeah. that's qualifying him to be on the cadet dual team and then also go to Fargo. But uh, how, two years ago, he was on the school – was it two years ago or was it last summer? Yeah, two years ago. It was two years ago. He was on the schoolboy team, which uh, they went and, – and you get in a, in a week's period of time, you get like 20 matches, don't you? Just crazy, yeah. Yeah, well, they seat you according to uh, – uh, you know, national champs and how you guys do nationally, your kids do nationally. So we got seated. We had a great team. And so we got seated pretty high. So you get in these pools of like eight teams and you wrestle uh, in that pool. And then so the winners of all the pools get in a higher pool. Higher bracket. And it just, yeah, and you do that for a week, a whole week. And so you get in seven, eight matches uh, and every kid is. Is, is, yeah, they're the best uh, they, that state has. So um, uh, we're wrestling tough kids the whole time. And so by the time you get to the end, which we were in the finals, uh, it, it gets pretty exciting. Uh, but the, to, see, to see Maximus prior to a, a national team uh, competition and then after – uh, and, and he'd been oh, wrestling yeah. he'd been wrestling since he was uh, you know knee high to a cricket. Um, he, you, you saw some growth there just because, you know, the old adage of iron sharpens iron. And yeah. when you wrestle tough kids, you get tougher yourself. Uh, what would you say, uh, what, what would, could you quantify the growth or the importance of oh, a, a, trip, a trip like this? Oh, definitely. You know, you, you know, throughout his, you know, throughout his period of wrestling, you've seen him grow and you know that when he went to that school boys you could just see a jump uh, a, a jump in every aspect of his takedown you know everything and uh so you you do see it and uh, that was a big jump for him uh, doing that schoolboy national team uh the training the, it's just that it started with the training camps that they go to Yeah, they pick up something from them, and uh, and, and they grow, and so it's been a, it's been fun just watching them. And now, uh, which is uh, unique, because in the past, uh, and we've had kids go and, and wrestle in other tournaments and stuff like that, but to have four four of our underclassmen 
qualify for Fargo and we're actually petitioning a fifth, we haven't had any kind of uh, uh, those kind of numbers in the past. I can't, I'm trying to remember when we had more than two or three uh, yeah. go to these tournaments. Having four qualifies is a pretty big deal for Mosley, Lake, when you it's say? It's huge. It's huge. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember or ever remembering that we had more than a couple. Uh, uh, so, I mean, four is huge. And then we got, of course, Bianca uh, going on an action. Right. Too. So, but, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be – you're, you're going to see a big, big difference in these kids when they get done with this year. I, I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens afterwards. Uh, now, uh, and and because you've been coaching these kids, you've been in the room, yeah. but tell us a little bit about being a father of one of the youth. Uh, does well, it, I, it, yeah. Now the other coach, the other coach Jason White, he is also a father because Hunter is his uh, son. But you guys not only are coaches, but you're also parents. Are you are you able to separate? Are you able to to take off the the dad hat and put on the coach's hat and or or is it? it it's I, tough. It, it, it's tough, Jimmy. But you know when Max decided, I mean there was only when he was real young. He decided himself that, hey, Dad, I want to go to the bigger tournaments. The only kids that were beating him were kids that go to all these big tournaments. And so, and and those, those were the only kids that were beating him. So he goes, he made the step and told us, hey, I want to go to these tournaments. And so I said, Max, if you want to go to these tournaments, you, you, I mean, you got to commit. And, and, and he did. And from that point on, we've been a wrestling family and it's like, that's it. Our vacations are on the weekends when we go to these tournaments. Mm -hmm. And so that's what it's been for me and Jason both. And, uh, you know, some of these other kids are, that, that come along, we, we will take, we're glad to take anybody that wants to come. So, uh, the, and the best thing about that is that he's made the decision as opposed to, uh, the parent making the decision yeah. that the kid is going to do this. Um, yeah. And, and I've been able to see his growth um, over the last, you know, just couple of years coming back from school boys. Uh, you could see that there was something again, a special coming on. And then just the last couple of weeks, just the last him, month, month yeah. watching him in the room, watch him in the room with Jaime uh, really get after it. And, and with the other boys, uh, yeah, it's been exciting. It's been, it's been exciting to see uh, their growth and progression, and, and uh, makes it to where having having to wait for, for next December when uh, the high school season gets going again, um, it, it's going to make it tough to have to to wait and see uh, all of this uh, because that's that's you know when the kids are able to showcase themselves out on the mat and uh uh that's a pretty cool thing you got to be pretty excited about all that yeah oh i'm excited i mean it's just like you said in the last month i've seen so much change and not only max i mean hunter and and cruz and and all the kids that are going to these tournaments jonathan all of them you could see the difference i mean hunter was wrestling 11 times in one day and, and, I know. It's crazy. And, uh, and just okay. to let everybody know, to let it's everybody know chaos. about that, Hunter has qualified uh, not only for the cadets, which is his actual age group, but he's also qualified to be uh, a junior, which is yeah, the that's upper. Not easy. And, and no, it's tough. And and he he did both tournaments, uh, both the freestyle tournament cadet and junior, and the Greco uh, cadet and junior, and he qualified for both. And uh, you gotta... we, had to send, we had to send a coach over there. He was on, he was on deck and already they were waiting for him on one, on one mat while he was still finishing his match. It was yep. crazy. It's crazy and exciting to see that he's willing to take that on. And he really loves the Greco Roman and uh, oh, does yeah, a, yeah. <laughs> and does a great he's job. Good. With it. He's good at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's only going to help him not only, uh, not only, you know, this coming summer, but it's going to help him on the mat at, at the high school uh, scene, too, because those kids that have that little bit of extra um, uh, threat, 
or uh, that you know that arsenal in their back pocket. Um, it, it 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 it's cool to see that on a on, on a high school mat. Um, now uh, these kids, a lot of people don't realize all of the extra work these kids are putting in because um, they just don't show up on the weekend and and wrestle. Uh, at oh, various, no. at various, they're putting in lots of time, lots of road miles because they go and train at other places as well. Um, yeah. Tell, I mean, because you've been a part of that, you've been one driving them there and here and there. Um, yeah. Uh, tell tell everybody a little bit of the dedication that these kids have shown uh, to you and uh, the other coaching staff. Well, I mean, we've we figured that we. We got to take the kids to where the competition is, and and mm-hmm. and so we found out about the Inland Northwest Training Center in in Gonzaga, a new facility, and at at one point we had heard there was like twenty state champions there at one and one outing, and so we go, you know what? Let's check this out, and we did, and it was like just that Max's weight alone or Hunter's weight alone, they I mean they changed partners. It's in another. A um, ridiculous kid. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And so mm-hmm. the partners they're getting every time they switch off is just awesome to watch. And uh, the, that's why I said just in the last couple months and crews and all every one of these kids that we've been taking down there, you, 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 it's been fun to watch. I mean, you can see the change in them. And, and they're competing with the best wrestlers in the round. Not only from Washington, but Idaho, Montana, they're coming there. And so it's been pretty cool. And, that, that, and that's something uh, that we've the, – the sharing of uh, room or the sharing of uh, uh, access to more uh, quality kids, like-minded kids that want to put in the extra time because, uh, honestly, um, you know, even – uh, it was the same back in the day when you and I were uh, high school yeah. kids. The kids that wrestled during the summer, spring and summertime, were the kids that r- really did well and were on the podium. Um, exactly. Now, tell tell some folks that uh, Moses Lake's going to be hosting one of these regional training camps here in a couple weekends on June 1st. To, uh, uh, there are, they, they're finalizing it. I haven't had the... the, the... The, the 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 heads up on it yet, but we yeah they were talking about it and if it's a done deal, um, we will be having one of these regional camps here, which is going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. So it'll be uh, two hours in the morning. We're going to do uh, freestyle and then no Greco, excuse me, Greco in the morning. Two hours in the afternoon, we'll do freestyle and it'll be a regional so that all of the kids uh, on the east side of the state uh, will come up and we'll have camp here at the Mosaic High School uh, wrestling room. Uh, that room has uh, has the c- capability of hosting uh, quite a bit of kids because of the mat size, um, it's, and and we're regionally uh, regionally we're centrally located, and it's just an ideal place to have a camp like this. It's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good. I can't wait. Um, I know uh, we just finished this last fundraiser last Saturday. Is there something coming up? that uh, you guys have thought of or are we thinking of doing something again uh to help fundraise what 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 information can we share with the listeners about what what have we thought of anything or we are we uh looking for our next fundraiser well we we, we we're brainstorming right now on no, what okay. can we can raise some more money i mean I, I mean that car wash was just i mean we thought we were going to make 500 bucks you know 400 we would have been happy but uh, that, I mean, we would like to have another one or, uh, I mean, garage sales or anything that we could raise some money and send these kids and uh, and, and pay for them, you know, or get yeah. them down there. So now uh, – You got a great start, though. Right. The, the cadet duels are uh, in uh, June 12th to the 17th in Spokane. So that's going to be nice and close, close. Uh, uh, proximity. Uh, Washington is planning on doing uh, having two teams, and I, I'm actually one of the coaches on one of the teams, so uh, I'll, I'm going to be over there, and I know you guys will be because your son 
and uh, oh, yeah. Jason will be, but uh, just to, everybody can go. It'll be over at the Spokane Convention Center. And oh, come see some of the best. best the it'll, it'll be best dual matches, uh, uh, and we'll decide a national champion. And uh, this cadet team that uh, Washington has. We have a shot. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> have a shot. There's, a, there's a, a good, great group of kids, young kids. Uh, throughout the state of Washington, and uh, it's going to be exciting. Is so tough. It's, it's going to be fun. It's, it's are, be are, fun. You, are you getting chill bumps just thinking about it? <laughs> Whoa, I, I, it's, it's, uh, I get chills every time I think about it. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, you know, you got teams like Minnesota and Illinois and Georgia and the, some of these uh, and you know will be ranked high, and so uh, it's going to be very exciting on 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 the outcome and, and who can pull away with the, the it's going to be, it'll be great. It'll be a great, uh, it'll be a great week of wrestling over in Spokane uh, for the cadet duels. The junior duels are in Tulsa. Is that correct? Um, I believe so. Yes. And then uh, uh, the girls national duels are, are they in Tulsa as well? And, and uh, the, I think Bianca's doing the ones in Pocatello. Oh, I, is I it? Believe. Okay. I believe I am, and that's fine. Anyway, but Bianca Bianca Johnson uh, is gonna. Uh, she already has a name for herself in the world oh, of wrestling, okay. uh, be, having won the triple crown several times, uh, and and she is now going to be a freshman in high school. Uh, and so uh, I know her parents, uh, our good friend Houston Johnson, is going to be excited to be able to see his daughter on the high school level now, and it's fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Javier Valdez probably chomping at the bit uh, to, oh, go, yeah, to, get, yeah, yeah. to get her on the team, uh, because he just lost a senior that was uh, a three time state placer for the Mosaic Chiefs in Melanie uh, Flores. So uh, we lose Melanie and we pick up Bianca, and uh, uh, the Chiefs are continuing to to grow their women's or girls wrestling, as which is a very very cool thing. Um, yeah. Well, uh, uh, Dwayne, I know you're a busy guy, and I really want to uh, thank you. Appreciate you uh, taking this uh, morning to visit with us. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to say to the community of Moses Lake and the support that uh, they gave us? Oh, time? I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for the support we get. The kids really appreciate it. And, and it's very exciting. And, and all the help we get, it, it, it feels good. It, it's good for the heart here. And, and, it's very, very nice. To see so, the awesome. That's awesome. Uh, and it's been like that for years and years. That's what, you know, makes living here in Moses Lake a wonderful thing. So, hey, Dwayne, uh, I know you, like I said, you're a busy guy. appreciate your time. And uh, Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, if, uh, if you guys, when you guys finish brainstorming some more events, let me know and we'll get it out to everybody. Oh, thank you so much. You betcha, man. You take right. care. Have a good day. Have a good okay, day, bud. Okay, bye-bye. See you, man. All righty, folks. That's our good friend, Dwayne Zamora. And, uh, yeah, Dwayne and I were teammates. We were seeing, we, you know, we, we got to the high school. He was a frontier uh, Indian, and I was a Chief Mo Brave. And uh, we, as sophomores, we were teammates. And then uh, uh, he, he, he was a stud. And um, uh, great, great, fun guy. And, you know, he's been supporting the youth wrestling here in Moses Lake for a long with with coaching and um, helping other kids as well as his own. But uh, what a great guy. And um, I appreciate him uh, being on the show um, today. Um, on the bench with Big Jim, would like to thank our sponsors. Um <clears throat> Jay's Teriyaki Grill, Tesis Merchant Solutions, uh, Frederick's Jewelry of Moses Lake, and Boost Mobile. And if any of you would like to uh, help support uh, our broadcasts, uh, just contact me, and uh, we can uh, get the word out about your business. Um, I want to thank. Uh, uh, I want to thank all the moms. Uh, you know, I know Mother's Day was yesterday, and I uh, uh, on Friday we did a little tribute. 
Um, but uh, there's a lot of people to be thankful for. And mothers are all kinds, all the mothers out there. Thank you very much for all that you do. Um, again, uh, if you'd like to uh, help Hunter White, Maximus Zamora, uh, Cruz Vasquez, Saul Villa, Bianca Johnson, and Jonathan Tanguma, please contact myself. Uh, and, you know, my telephone number is all over all of these posts. You're more than welcome to uh, call me and I can help you uh, 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 participate in supporting these kids. Um, but uh, I, I, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors. Teriyaki Grill. Jay's Teriyaki Grill is, uh, is delicious rice and noodles and fantastic uh, teriyaki chicken, beef, pork, and crazy huge portions, making this the best bang for your buck in the area. <clears throat> and they're egg rolls, folks. If you like egg, roll, egg rolls, <coughs> excuse me, it, it, their egg rolls are they're supreme. So you can't go wrong by stopping at uh, Jay's Teriyaki Grill for lunch or dinner. Whether you eat in or you, uh, you call it in and pick it up and bring it home or back to work, uh, they can take care of it. They also do catering for your parties. So go try it for yourself. They are on the corner of Alder and, uh, and Broadway at 123 East Broadway Avenue. Call 764-5155 to have uh, your food ready for you. Jay's Teriyaki Grill. And uh, you can tell them Big Jim sent you. And also, in the link that I posted, uh, you can find their Chow Now app and uh, have it on your phone. And it's a very convenient app. You can pay for it right there and have it all ready to go and picked up. Um, uh, and tell, tell the folks at Jay's Teriyaki that Big Jim sent you. <clears throat> Our next uh, sponsor is uh, Merchant, Tesis Merchant Solutions. Uh, they offer everything we want from a payment processing company, free equipment, lowest processing cost, and local customer service. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're looking to improve your bottom line, which I think most businesses are, let's look where we can save you some of your hard-earned money. So uh, uh, all, all, all we need to look at is just a free analysis where we check your statement to see what kind of charges you're being charged, and we personalize and customize uh, your payment, uh, the 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 type of cards people are using to pay you, and we customize these processing fees uh, to help it uh, help you uh, make and save the most money. We also provide you free equipment and local customer service. Uh, Tesis Merchant Solutions, they want to partner with you to make your business more successful. Uh, call me at 750-5676 for a free analysis, and, uh, or you can check us out online at tesis.com. Uh, my next uh, sponsor is a good friend. Uh, <clears throat> we went to school together when we were younger, but at, uh, Nick Cruzculio is at Frederick's Jewelry, and that's where you'll find sp uh, some, that something special for your loved ones. They provide custom-designed jewelry and expert jewelry repair. Not only do they sell and repair jewelry, they also have beautiful fine gifts from glassware vases vials ceramic sculptures to gold and silver watches necklaces and rings with over 60 years in the business they're the ones to trust for jewelry fine gifts or jewelry and watch repair serving moses lake since 1953 frederick's jewelry 208 west third avenue 765 6331 or check them out on facebook at frederick's jewelry ml you can also uh, find a link to their uh, website uh, in the post. So uh, I want to thank Frederick Stewart. Boost Mobile is my, uh, uh, my next sponsor. And you can get unlimited gigs when you switch to Boost Mo Mobile. And it includes mobile hotspot per line, available in store or online. You can get up to free, four free LG Style 4Ss. Uh, go to their website. Uh, BoostMobile.com and uh, go see the great people at Boost Mobile 301 East Broadway Suite C, Moses Lake, Washington or call 765-4298 uh, 
Their store hours are Monday through Saturday, 7 to 10 p.m., uh, excuse me, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., and on Sundays, noon to 5 p.m. So I want to thank uh, all of those sponsors for being with us. Um, uh, just something that uh, was just, we're going to set up a GoFundMe account, and you can message uh, uh, Allison White, who's a part of the Mosley Freestyle Wrestling Club, uh, uh, so you can contact her. But uh, we're going to be setting up a GoFundMe account for uh, these kids planning on going uh, to the national tournaments. I want to thank everybody again for being with me today. I also, um, like, please like and share this video. And uh, go to uh, our uh, On the Bench with Big Jim YouTube account. And that way you can see all of my past, the, the past shows that we've had. And um, get caught up with different things that are going on in our community. Um, just to let everybody know, Wednesday and Friday shows will be from Philadelphia. I'm going to be flying out to Philadelphia to my son's uh, graduation. My other son, my older son, he'll be graduating from PA school and moving back to Moses Lake. And so I think one of those days we'll be visiting with uh, my son, Andrew. So we're going to be in Philadelphia, Paul. So uh, maybe we could set something up. Uh, but uh, so hopefully... Uh, uh, Everything works out, and we'll be able to have a great show from Philadelphia on Wednesday and Friday. And, uh, hey, everybody, thank you so much for being a part of uh, On the Bench with Big Jim and supporting us and uh, tuning in. We appreciate your time, and uh, you guys all have a great Monday. It's, it's Monday, and, um, hey, it's going to be a great week. So hopefully you have a great day. And uh, be kind, and uh, be kind to someone who, who needs a hug or needs some help. Um, it'll make you feel better, and it's good, it's good for your heart as well. So take care, everybody. We will see you on Wednesday. Bye.